Hi all, in this video, I'm going to be discussing about how we can use a chat GPT through our mobile. I hope you already having the experience how to use a chat GPT through the laptop or a desktop devices. But in this video, I'm going to concentrate how we can install the chat GPT through mobile and how to this how we can use it. For this, we have to go to the Google Play Store. So once you go to the Google Play Store, we have to type chat GPT. Once you type chat GPT, you can find a lot of chat GPT applications, but you should be very cautious. Don't be blindly install all the uh, chat GPT app which is given by the Google Play Store. So you should be look on to the company name OpenAI because the chat GPT which you are using the laptop or a desktop is uh, OpenAI uh, developed tool only. So here you can see this is a black color logo chat GPT. Once you click it here you can check whether this is an app is developed by the OpenAI. It's developed and uh, there is a ranting is 4.7 and 57k users. So these are things you must be look on to this and this logo is black color. Then after this we have to install it, but for me I am already installed it. That is the reason after installations I can find the chat GPT application in my mobile. So just I am typing as a chat GPT, so I find the chat GPT. Once I click the chat GPT, this is an user interface of the chat GPT in mobile. Then we can ask the queries or the prompting here. I am asking here what is AR, then just to press the the error mark up error mark then you may get this answer from the chat gpt now you can see this and response from the chat gpt and suppose i like to go with role of ai in education i'm asking this code is like this the prompting after this go to the up error mark so the chat gpt is providing once again the responses and compared to the laptop this is very fast also and one more thing suppose if you like to explore more about this go to the, the three I find so here you can see this new chat or history suppose you want to see this old uh, things you can go to the history and similarly there is a plus symbol it's another query is from chat GPT like a new chat you can go with this and one more good features uh, compared to the, the desktop uh, page chat GPT here we can also the prompting through the voice also once you go to the voice symbol I can press the audio what is augment reality so once I press it the same things which I pronounced or which I asked in your voice, it comes here. After this, just to can press the error mark and you may get this answer from the chat GPT. So now the chat GPT is moved to the voice GPT, like voice based also is possible to uh, chat with this uh, chat GPT, like a chat button down. Thank you so much. Hope this video is my useful for you. We will meet in the next video. Bye.